In this video, we're looking at a situation in which we've got <clears throat> a wave traveling towards what we call a fixed boundary or fixed end. If I make a pulse, you can see what happens when it gets down here. I'll just slow this down. And what happens when it gets back to here is that it is reflected. So we've got the incident pulse. The reflected pulse, as you can see, is now traveling on the undersurface. And now when it gets to this fixed end, again, it travels on the opposite side of the, of the string. So here it now goes through what we call a phase change of 180 degrees or if you like it's inverted or another way of saying this is that it undergoes a phase change of pi, pi radians. We'll just slow it down when it gets back to here to see why this happens. And why it happens is that when what happens is that when it gets to this fixed end, this end here can't move. The string uh, exerts a force on this, this point here, but that point can't move. And what it does, according to Newton's third law, is that it exerts a force in the opposite direction. So it's, in other words, a reaction. And that reaction pulls the string down. And so it's as if this uh, exerts a force down and creates a pulse on the opposite side. Watch as we do this. Okay, so this is what happens here. Now, what sort of situation might that actually occur on in real life? Well, to have a look at a situation where we might have reflection like this occurring in a real life situation, one situation would be in stringed instruments like a guitar or violin. If I set this simulation going, here we've got a wave that is progressing. And here at each end, we would actually have a fixed point. So what happens here is that when, when a wave gets here, gets to this point, we have a an inversion. In other words, we have it undergoing a phase change of pi. Now, a similar situation occurs down here in other uh, instruments, perhaps like a, um, a trumpet or a, um, a flute. Usually it's a wind instrument. Here we have what is called a free end. Uh, this might be at the mouth where somebody is uh, is blowing the uh, uh, blowing the tune down here is is the free end now if we go back to the other simulation and what i will do now is change the end here from a fixed end to a loose end and we'll continue on i'll re restart this and create a pulse and you will see what happens here at a free or free end so this time again what we have is reflection here but this time it's on the same side so there is no phase change here it's a fixed end and we get a phase change down here no phase change and we have a reflection along the same side. 